In this financial year, Parliament approved a supplementary budget of 5 billion shillings for Ministry of Trade, Industry and Cooperatives to find a better home. Surprisingly, this money was ultimately diverted for refurbishment of Farmer's House, a decision that was earlier on condemned. This money was diverted and according to the law, only a certain percentage can be allowed to be veered. But to my dismay, 100% of the money that was given to the, to the ministry for rent changed the direction to renovation. According to the Permanent Secretary of Ministry of Trade, she decided to make environment because renting a new premise would cost over 17 billion shillings per year, yet they could instead refurbish farmers' house that currently house the Public Service Commission, Education Service Commission and the ministry itself. I imagine that this committee assumed uh, good accommodation for staff. That was the objective you wanted to achieve, not to force the entity to go and rent in expensive premises. Mm -hmm. No, because you see, for me, what, what it is is that I see uh, all the handover notes and everything that I got from, the, from my predecessor. There was nothing like, uh, you must go and rent. The, the objective was, we must find proper accommodation for the ministry. And right now, we have achieved it. Legislators, however, disagreed with the permanent secretary over what they call total environment, a move that's typically unlawful. In addition to that, they cautioned her over reproachful tone while responding to the matter, something the committee found disrespectful. So you could work very hard and nicely and end up getting a warning letter from us because of non composure <laughs> Yes, the chair, I, 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 I saw my sister here. When, when we raised some of the issues, she was going to ask either the officer to bring it very unruly and good. And that's why somebody is even saying, you cannot say I, I, even if the law says you, you're not the procurement officer. Away from the rent, the committee has tasked the ministry to revive the cooperative bank. It should be remembered that in 1999, Cooperative Bank was questionable shut down by Bank of Uganda under former Governor Charles Chikonyogo. Despite money appropriated for revival, this is yet to be realized. We worked so hard, we put so much money in reviving the Cooperative Society. I'm now told the money we fought for were eaten by a few people and, and that there are some officials in your ministry who are aware of that. So I want to start from you. We want a report how you have revived them, who are doing well, how do you assess them, assess their performance, where are they going? In his response, the State Minister Frederick Ngobi Gume assured the committee that they have made a number of cooperative unions and they feel now ready to establish a cooperative bank. But we've said in principle, let's have a cooperative bank for farmers and small uh, business enterprises. So, in so doing, we have traversed the country and talked to cooperative unions to own the bank, to agree in principle. For example, uh, they should agree in principle that we need to have the bank, and also and the president in principle has also written to us that it is important to revive the bank. The budgetary allocation for the Ministry of Trade in the upcoming financial year is 82.43 billion shillings, which the ministry claims was influenced by budget cuts and further seek support from the committee. Samlanifa, Smart24 TV, Business Today.